Hello everybody, my name is Eddie. I'm from Sweden, from a little small town called Kristinehamn. It's about, about the upper north, northeast corner of Lake Vänern. But uh, I, I will do my first film in uh, English. And my English is, uh, well, I hope you will understand. My grammar is not correct. and. Uh, uh, it will be some kind of American swinglish, I think. So, but I think I I will speak better English than you folks out there speak Swedish anyway. So I hope you will understand. Um, okay, I'm 60 years old, uh, uh, and I was uh, planning to move down to Torrevieja. Uh, when I got, got older, so I bought a, an apartment here for about two years ago and uh, When I was looking for a place to to live in Spain. I always watched this uh, YouTube clips from I searched for Torrevieja and everything and I, I say Torrevieja you 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 British people I have noticed o o almost always say Torrevieja but I don't know what which is right, but I think Torrevieja is how, how the Spanish people s say it. Uh, my neighborhood here is uh, Torretta 3. It's called the area, he area here. It's, uh, well, they speak pretty bad about this area on, on the social media, but uh, but I, I like, I pretty like it here. I, I'm living in a gated community. So it's such a an, an safe island in this uh, area. And uh, I, I'm, I'm a worrying kind, so I couldn't live in another way, I think. I wouldn't feel safe then. I don't know why, but I, I'm, I'm that way. So, but here, this is my fortress. It's a gated community. I have an apartment, wonderful uh, outdoor spaces, wonderful indoor spaces. And today it's uh, Thursday and I think it's the 4th of January. And the time is about quarter to nine in the morning. I will look at the temperature. Well, 12.6 degrees centigrade now. Uh, when, when I was looking at the video clips on YouTube, I, I, I really liked Mike and Yvonne's Between the Lakes. So very serious production and uh, but it's so hard for me not to say between the legs with Mike and Yvonne but uh, okay I will try to avoid that this is a yeah I like it so much they are professional they got uh, this uh, drones and everything and uh, making interesting uh, little movies Today I'm going to take you up to a little village called Los Montesinos. It's, uh, well, maybe five kilometers north of where I live in Torretta 3. Uh, we are going to stop at the garden center that I like, Val, uh, what is called Valentin, I think. Valentin Garden Center. And uh, then we go up to the village Los Montesinos. Uh, Los Montesinos has uh, around 5,000 inhabitants. 
It's a small little town in in uh, oh, well, n not uh, by the sea, of course, but uh, yeah, yeah, in the fields. So it's time to head up north. It's about ten o'clock. Uh, I try to avoid going out in the traffic uh, before 9 o'clock because it's busy if people are going to work. And um, it's, a, it's a busy traffic. Well, it's nothing about uh, holiday season. It's, it's really bad done, but uh, it will be okay today, I think. This is my entrance to the apartment and here is my little red rooster it's going to take us up to Los Montesinos but I need to put in some fuel first so all right we will stop at the nest next time at the Valentin Garden Center okay now we are up here at this uh, Valentin Garden Center and uh, I'm filming south. Uh, I'm standing north of the pink uh, salt lake. And this is the road up to Crevient. As you can see there. And uh, I'm going to move to the garden center now. And I just love these signs at the parking lot. Here you can choose only big boobs, only positive people, dreamers. I think I will park here next time. Only crazy people. I'll see where I parked with my little red rooster then. Only blondes. Only beautiful people. Yeah, only happy people. This is the little red rooster. Only happy people. Yeah, I'm pretty happy. Little melancholic, but uh, happy anyway. So I'm going to speak with them first, so it's okay that I'm filming inside. So, here it is. I'm going to ha have a chat with them first. Ja, men det var ju inga problem att filma då, det trodde jag nog inte heller, men... Här finns det ju allt. Här har vi ju krukavdelningen till att börja med. Krukor och jord och lite bröte. Alltså, vi ska ta och gå in genom hela butiken också, här ska ni få se. Här finns det ju en del... Prydnade för sådana som tycker om sånt. Det är kasser då. Oh, sorry. I forgot. Uh, I had to speak English, of course. I'm inside the store now. And uh, I love it here. So many beautiful plants. I wish I had a uh, year around living here so I could buy flowers and plants. And here are the signs. Some of them. And just look here. It's so wonderful. I don't like this. I don't like this art thing. I could, could walk around here all day. It's so beautiful. And these succulents. That's the only thing I can buy now. But they don't s survive anyway. <laughs> Det 
Isn't it lovely? Bougainvillea, different colors. Gick jag ut här? Uh, I, <laughs> I went outside. I spoke to, uh, uh, I think it was the boss maybe. And he asked what I, what I was filming for and I said it was for YouTube and he said he w it was okay. This is, I think this is in a something, some irrigation system. They collect rainwater I think to, to water the, the plants with during drier periods. This is uh, uh, pots and they are sheep. They are really cheap. Big one like this. Yeah. Wow, 16 euro. Oh, okay, it's okay. 16 euro. And smaller pots are, of course, cheaper. I think I have some of these. I think I bought not really this size, but a uh, little smaller. But uh, yeah. Here are the, the trees. Orange, lemon, palms, olives, figs, I think, somewhere. Should be. Yeah, I don't know what it is, uh, everything, but oh, uh, hibiscus. I just love them. It's a quiet, calm place where you can walk and just look at the plants. Yeah, I like it here. But you need to have a car to get here or something. I can't buy plants with my scooter either, so I need to have a car if I want to buy anything, but uh, it's a later problem. Lemons. What is this? Maybe kumquats or what are they called? This is the apartment, no, what is it called? Department that I don't like so much. This is the gnome, gnome area. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. So ugly. This is sheep, sheepness, sheepness in my eyes. But some of you might like it, so it's okay. Oh, a little cafe. I have never seen this before, but uh, here you can take a coffee. And scarecrows. Scarecrows. Yeah. That's it, I think. I'm going to go through the indoor area again, one more time, then I lead. Anna! A lot of hibiscus, but uh, I think these are retarded plants, so they don't grow any bigger th than this. And it's a pity, I think. I want them to grow however they like. This one was a beautiful one. Palm 
Ramos. And what's this? I think it's, this is something to eat. Okay, we will leave now for this time. It's a lot of stuff and it's pretty cheap too. If you compare it to Swedish prices, so it's pretty cheap. I'm going to look for some tools before I leave now. But here you have everything you need for your gardening anyway, so yeah, make a visit next time. Now we are heading up for Los Montesinos. So we are back in business again and we are up in Los Montesinos and this is a, they have a lot of orange, no I think it's lemon trees maybe here. I will take a look. I'm in the uh, outskirts of this little village. It's a little tiny, dirty village. But I like it here. It's the more... my kind of Spain. I don't like the happiness and the joy at the beaches. I like this sleepy towns, sleepy little villages. So we are entering the main street, I think, the, the street that leads all through this little village. And down there you can see the pink salt lake. I think this is the main street. Some bars, cafes. Yeah, we just follow the main road here and uh, this is how it looks like. Pretty, pretty nice. I think you will find what you need here in this little village. In case of food and drinks and relax, of course. Some restaurants, La Cantina Tex-Mex, yeah, of course, it's not mostly fish and chips in these areas because of the, all the British people I think, yeah, tiny streets, beautiful. Just walking the streets of Monte, Los Montesino. Montesinos. Soon we are getting to the square. It's a beautiful square. I'm gonna take a walk around there and then I might have a cup of coffee. Yeah. I think this is here it will open up to become the the big square.
Oh, nice to get rid of the traffic. I'm going to have some Indian lunch, I was thinking. I, I've been here before at the, a small Indian restaurant and I liked it there. Here you can sit I mean, talk and have a cup of coffee and I soon will. It's quiet, peaceful. Ugly Christmas, Christmas decors. A little kiosk. You do not see them so often now nowadays with this just a little window to buy from. So this is the square in Los Montesinos. These are religious neighborhoods, I think. Yeah, it's a beautiful little town. I think I could live here. Last time I was here, I saw a giant spider over here. I'm going to look and see if it's still there. I think it's, uh, yeah, over a year since I was here. But uh, I will take a look. Yeah, it was in this. Yeah, look. It is still here. It might be another one, but uh, it's huge. I don't know if you can see it. It's beautiful though. <laughs> Funny. One year later. I can see there are properties for sale here. Seven. Yeah. Sleepy, quiet little town. But the best thing, I think it will be this square. I think it's pretty known for this square. It's kind of uplifted and uh, yeah. It's cozy, in a way. Yeah, I'm gonna have a cup of coffee. Cup of coffee, then relax and take a walk. And uh, see if I can find some other interesting stuff to, to record. Okay, now I'm sitting at the little coffee. I didn't take the first one because it was so crowded, so... I'm now sitting at LJ's Cafe and Bar. I've just ordered a cup of coffee con leche. That's cafe, coffee with milk. If you want it black, you have to say coffee americano. And you often get these little treats, some gingerbread. Oh, great, gracias. Thank you very much. And I ordered a tostada. It's toast with uh, tomato and olive oil. 
Ja. I'm going to eat some and take this afterwards. Yeah, this is lovely. So simple. Olive oil, tomato, toast, salt and pepper. Just love it. It's like summer, but it's uh, January. It's wonderful. And this will cost about uh, four euros, I think. Three fifty four, maybe. Your tostadas is two, two euro. No, yeah, nice morning. Every time I'm out on these uh, cafes and bars, I bring my shims. So I can have a steady table, because I hate these wobbly tables, so I always use shims. In my backpack, always got shims. I don't know if it can get so much better than this. Uh, it's almost too sleepy up here. I'm sitting on, on a very calm side street here. But it's nice just to sit here and think. I will take a little walk and show you the surroundings. So now, now I'm on the other side of town. This is the western entrance to this little village Los Montesinos. And here is the main street again. I will walk back and see what it's like. I saw there are apartments free here and they are about 55,000 euros. Like in these houses, 55,000. I walk over to the shady side here. It's warm, it's nice. I might go inside here and look for cars. I'm interested in buying a car. A cheap little car that I can have here. You can see this is the west side of the uh, pink salt lake. Should be uh, San Miguel de Salinas over there, I think.
nice day perfect walking weather another square well it's football court and best basket <laughs> yeah, a video of Los Montesinos. This one is for sale. Yeah, why not? Why not? See then the two floors and the solarium upstairs. Quiet side side street. This electronic device is just eating battery, so I have to change my battery soon. It's not, not so much action on this video. I think this is an action camera, actually, but it doesn't help when there's no action around. And I prefer it that way, of course, but Yeah, we are moving downtown, downtown Los Montesinos. Oh, that smell from the bakery here is wonderful. I love the smell from bakeries. Så, nu har jag lämnat Los Montesinos och tillbaka in i stan. Jag är på ett annat ställe här nu som jag skulle vilja kalla för San Luis. Eller, det är jättesvårt här, det heter massa olika saker. San Luis vet jag, och det heter också fan, det heter La Siesta, va? eller El Chaparral, ja, det är jätterörigt här uppe. Men här ligger det ju ett litet torg kan ni säga. Och här finns det en del restauranger då. Jag ska äta här tänkte jag. Det, jag gick ju be... Oh, sorry. Sorry, Swedish. Okej, okay, I have left uh, Los Montesinos. And I went down to the... Closer to Torrevieja again. And uh, I stopped here. I think it's called San Luis, this... This square. This area. And they have some restaurants here and I would try to get something to eat. Uh, my Indian restaurant in Los Montesinos, most, oh, what, what's it called? Mo Los Montesinos, yeah, it was closed. So I, I, I have never been here, Star of India. I will try this one this time. But they are not open yet. But uh, there's a lot of people here sitting having 
a drink, <laughs> waving at me. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, so yeah, I will take you a stroll around here and look what it's like. Man, do sit you here, da, på Star oh, sorry, <laughs> English. Stars of India is the, up in the square uh, at San Luis, I think this is called, this square. And I have uh, ordered uh, papadams, papadams and uh, some uh, sauces. Wonderful chutney and I think it's some pickles and uh, some uh, mint sauce. I'm gonna sit here and dip a little bit and uh, wait for my lamb curry. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this because I have never never been here before. This is my first time, so I will give you an, an opinion afterwards. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. So, is coming. Yeah. You want to keep the? No, I don't. No. Yeah, when the when the cold sauce is the when the mango chutney is the best of them, it's not so especially good, I think, because they could have put some more effort in their mint sauce and in their it was only onions and tomatoes, no spices in the little salad that I got. So no, not the best, but I will wait for the main course now. Sitting here with my lamb madras. Madras, maybe. Looks okay, looks like it should do, I think. It's hot. And it's on a fire. And uh, yeah. some ginger up on it and uh, naan bread. Because I, I don't I don't regularly order rice anymore. I think it's it, it, enough with the non bread so i yeah i will try this this is the first uh, indian meal i have uh, at the restaurant this time but i do very much indian food at home So, and I, it, it gets okay, it gets good to do it at home too, if you, if you follow the recipes and uh, buy the spices you need, yeah, it's okay. It's a very, very many good re receipts on uh, YouTube, of course. Yeah, interesting. Mm. Okay, not so creamy. But good, but a little watery. The flower of carrot. Coriander, cilantro. A little spicy, not too much. Mm. Nice and meat, I got her.
Lemon fits well with uh, spicy dishes, I think. I wish it, it has, had been a little bit more creamier. But it's okay. Okay, <clears throat> now I, I have finished. It's, it was vanilla. It was uh, nothing special. I could eat it. But uh, I don't think I will go here again. The prices are, yeah, like they, like they are. L lukewarm coke from with the Santa Claus on directly from the can no ice non bread wasn't finished yeah it was okay but not not worth it not really worth it I think it will land on 15 euros or something but uh, yeah, and this is for Mike and Yvonne. If you like this video, please make a thumbs up. If you hate it, thumbs down. And uh, you don't need to, d to subscribe because you <laughs> there <laughs> probably don't want to be any more videos. So. Thanks for me, Eddie, in Torrevieja. Three, two, one, bring!